Hey guys, how's it going? Crepain here. Today I want to give you guys a special video for my special lady, Rania. So as some of you might know, Rania is my wife. I have been married three years today, in fact, and it has been an absolute life-changing experience sharing myself, my life, everything that I am with Rania. The purpose of today's video is I kind of want to bring this out more in the open. You guys know I am a person that I try to be open about everything that I do and that I am, but when it came to my personal life, I kind of just kept it to myself. I don't exactly know why, kind of feared criticism, kind of feared some harassment and all that, but uh, yeah, I have a pretty thick skin. Rania is up there with me as well, and we've kind of, you know, put ourselves out there a little bit more lately to the point where it seems that a lot of you guys welcome to learn more about our life and our interaction, so I thought today I would do justice and give you guys a bit of the background, a bit of the story of how our lives have changed together in these last few years. So Rania and I, uh, we met when uh, she added me on Skype. Uh, at the time, you know, many years ago, uh, my Skype was very easy to find. Uh, just, you know, if you if you could figure it out, good for you. Some people did. I talked to a few random people, and I happened to be uh, watching some crap movie that one night. I kind of interrupted, seeing what else I could do. I noticed someone added me on Skype, and they had a very nice face on their thumbnail. So, you know, it's a grill. It's a pretty face. Let's see what's up. And we immediately connected. We realized the uh, connection we had together, sharing our thoughts, experiences, you know, our lives essentially through the means of the interwebs and um, after uh, I don't know after just a few weeks we kind of expressed our love to each other and I was planning on traveling to Germany for ESG and fight nights and I asked them to send me not back to Canada but to Greece on the return flight which they're obviously happy to do because the flight was a lot cheaper and yeah I kind of uh, you know jumped in. I uh, don't really have too much of my roots here in Canada. My parents are here. I have a few friends here. But, you know, at that time, and this was, you know, maybe half a year, a year after Hertzlin had come out, I was just doing the stream thing, spending, you know, at least a dozen hours every day in front of my computer, and that was my life. So, you know, if if I could just go to Greece and do it there, um, I can just keep doing that. I only need an internet connection. At the time, Rania was teaching at the university in Athens. She is a PhD of computer science, so she knows all of that stuff. We used to make the joke of, you know, if the streaming doesn't work out anymore, or if the YouTube doesn't work out anymore, we will go heavy duty into botting. She has the, uh, the coding side, and I have the uh, game mechanics side of things down. But obviously, you know, I don't think we'll ever need to go there though that might be a fun experiment, I suppose. In any case, uh, being together, being close to one another for the first time, um, it was just a very, it was a life-changing experience for both of us. And we very quickly decided to um, hitch up, I guess, get married. Um, we had to go through a lot of paperwork at the time because um, as simple as it might sound to just go to some place in the world and live there and do whatever you want, it doesn't exactly work that way. There's a lot of bureaucracy, paperwork, and bullshit involved in that. So we had to suffer a little bit to get what we wanted and we eventually got it once again on the today, 31st of October, Halloween. So um, after that, we've shared our lives um, we decided after you know going around the world and you know going to all these events, seeing all these places, going around the world a few more times to meet each other's families in Romania and Canada, uh, we decided to move to Canada. And uh, in doing so, we had to change our lives once again. You know, Rania can't be a uh, teacher at a university in Greece if we're going to be in Canada. And at that point, we decided to uh, put our lives together in a situation that made sense. We decided to work together in this, you know, making content on the internet thing. And of course, we're doing it to this day. 
Uh, there are a lot of challenges though. Um, you know, it's not that easy. Even if you're married to someone, there's a whole process and there's a lot of stuff that has to do when you go from Greece to Canada. So we initiated that as soon as we could. And uh, again, a lot of bureaucratic fun things involved. Uh, after a lot of that, we decided to uh, make the move. We came to Canada. We stayed with my dad for a few months while um, the apartment that we were moving into was uh, being ready. It should have been ready a lot sooner than it ended up being, but there were like construction delays and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, man, it, it was it was a really big thing for me when we finally like um, had our own place, had our own apartment that we actually owned. Um, you know, before this whole streaming thing, before this whole like YouTube thing, my dream was to just have my own box somewhere so I could play video games and be left alone. That was about it. And obviously that is not exactly the dream that came true, but it was a better dream. And in all of this, in sharing my life with Rania and realizing, you know, the things that we could do together, uh, my dreams essentially have expanded. Now, you know, I'm, I'm not the guy who's like, one day I want to own a gold-plated Ferrari, you know. Neither of us are like that, but, you know, we do one day want to travel the world. We did want to get some, you know, fluffy doggies and we wanted to get, you know, a nice house eventually. And those things are being completed. It hasn't been an easy ride because, um, you know, Rania, uh, she, she spends, I don't know, like 10, 12 hours a day on, you know, the back end of YouTube and the back end of streaming. I do the same. It's very difficult to do anything else, really. But we managed to do it. We managed to, you know, move in the apartment, do all the things that normal people do that have weekends and time off and stuff, which we clearly don't have. Uh, we eventually found uh, a really nice property that we wanted to buy, but it needed a lot of work. Uh, so we uh, hired the guys. We ran the project of renovating it. We were doing construction on the place for like three months. We were sleeping like, you know, three, four hours a day, wake up like in the middle of the night, walk Dexter because we just got him because we needed the security system for a new house that we were getting ready. Then we'd head over here, talk to the guys, call the guys that weren't here. It it it, it has been some difficult times, but not, you know, we've, we've persevered it because we've had each other through this time. These days, we have come really far. You know, we have, we have an amazing house, we have an amazing big doggy, and we have a Pretty mediocre shithead little corgi doggy too, but she's kind of cute sometimes. And yeah, our our dream of you know being able to spend time together and travel the world is coming closer every single day that we work hard towards it. Um, Rania does a lot of work that she isn't appreciated for very much because a lot of you guys don't actually realize what she does. I see some other streamers, and you know it's very obvious. But you know I don't know I don't exactly know why we've kept it private, but. It's, it's time to kind of change that up. Some of you have seen Rania's YouTube channel. She shares a lot of the real life adventures that we experience, um, you know, with gardening, with greenhouse, some, some things we do with the doggies, some things we do outside with plants and trees and cooking and, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. You guys are going to love that channel. If you're into that stuff, I'll put a link for that below if you guys are interested. Um, but man, the, the daily work ethic that we have kept for a long time is really amazing. You guys know I do the streaming. I just have to do the streaming. Um, I typically come up with the ideas for the YouTube channel because I'm the one streaming. I typically know, um, you know what clips are better than others. Rania could do that, but she'd spend way more of her time if she did. But that's basically where my job ends. Yeah, you know, I view the Reddit, I see other streams, I see what other people are doing in terms of content creation, so I can try to keep up with that. Rania's always doing that as well. But she's the one doing these videos. Uh, if you've watched a video on this channel, you have seen her work. You have seen her editing the videos. Originally, I wanted, you know, my content to be... I never wanted to hire an editor because I wanted the content to be mine. But, you know, our lives are the same. Our lives are inter intertwined. They're together. They're one. 
You know, when Rania makes a really sweet YouTube video, you know, I have, I get pride from that. I'm proud of her for doing a great job. And yeah, sometimes my salt doesn't help, but yeah, the editing uh, is seamless enough that you may not notice sometimes, hopefully. So she does a lot of that. She does um, uh, all the organizing. Like I don't even I don't even know what I'm doing. Like you know next week and next few days. I I have I don't know. She tells me, but she's the one keeping track and making sure that we are on point, on schedule. Don't miss a thing with you guys, with YouTube, with trips like the one we're about to have for BlizzCon, um, with sponsors, with promo deals, with a lot of that stuff. There's a ton of. Uh, work that's in the back end that you guys don't see that has to do with yeah promo deals sponsors events you know issues that come up this is this is you know hours and hours and hours of work every single day that she does that keeps us going that allows us to you know do better uh, and it also gives us a lot more security so um, I didn't really, I kind of took this for granted a little bit, but I know there was like a YouTube ad apocalypse, um, you know, somewhat recently where ad revenue just tanked like crazy. Well, you know, if something like that happened, it wouldn't even really change anything that we would do. Just, it, w it wouldn't matter if our ad revenue on YouTube would go away. Yeah, it would suck because, you know, we, we would like to make more money doing the same thing, but we would do the same thing. We are able to do that. Because you know we have we have sweet sponsors, we have good deals going on all the time, and we're consistent. People realize that, and Rania figures all that out so we can make it work together. And yeah, that's the story. I'll give you guys a few more stories, but uh, you know I kind of want to wrap up this video and just wrap it up with: I've met the love of my life. I've moved my life forward to a point where, you know. After, after a bit more work, I guess, um, I can be very happy. I am very happy. I'm very happy I have her, and I hope you guys can at least acknowledge and share that experience with us. I love you, Rania. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.